Hello everyone, welcome back to Danielle's Downtime. We are now on episode three, and we are going to be doing something a little bit different today, which I'm really excited about. So let's get into it. So what we're going to be doing today is a little bit different and I'm really excited and this might need to be considered like a part one because I couldn't I couldn't fit it all into this one video and I'm not trying to make them any longer than they already are. So we're going to call this part one of my shark stuff like haul. This is a lot of the things that I have been given to me or I've collected over the years that are all shark related so let's let's see what we have here i want to start first i have been waiting to burn this candle this is a maya blue candle it's got shark teeth in it you burn it and then you you get the shark teeth out of it so let me remove before lighting plant me i'll grow love that so this is a buttery rum hint leading to a sweet creamy vanilla with toasted coconut. I was gonna say, I smell coconut for sure. And you can kind of see the teeth at the top. So while we do this, let's burn her. Let's see if we can uncover some teeth while she burns. And this is all natural, hand poured, eco-friendly shark tooth soy candle. Well, I'll just start by saying it smells amazing. It smells super dreamy. So love that. Um, 10, well, I'll let you know if I 10 out of 10 recommend. It's lit! So we're going to place our little candle off to the side here. No, she's burning. So we'll keep an eye out for those shark teeth to pop up. And I mean, I don't know if I'll be able to tell you which teeth they are, but they're shark teeth. Okay, so... Let's let that baby burn. So let's start out with one of the OGs. This is like one of my first bigger items that were like shark related that I got a long time ago, like when like this product first came out. So this is my pillow pet. I have about like four more of these that are in like the smaller version, but they're like buried in the archives of like past relationship box, things like that. So this is Brucey. My parents got me Brucey and it only felt right to name him Bruce since this was like my first like real shark like stuffed animal that I ever got my hands on. All right, what's next? Um, some little like tiny things that Dave's mom got me to. These are Shark Week sunglasses. <laughs> so they're cute. They got like the little little sharky guy on the side oh yeah she cute she cute i am sorry i um just had a really long day at work today so we're gonna decompress this way on top of the sunglasses she got me this cute little sharky shark holographic notebook this is some gray wets on the cover and then i haven't even taken this out because i don't even want to but this is like a little pen with like a little sharky I don't want to open it. I mean, I'm sorry I haven't opened it yet, but I don't want to open it. <laughs> We're going to keep it in there. Love that for us. Okay, so instead, obviously we have the shark encyclopedia, but this is something I like put on my coffee table and just like it's super cute, super eye-catching, and my parents got me this for Christmas a couple years ago. This is just like a super like aesthetically pleasing like... I don't even know. It's just like pictures. There's no words or anything like that. Ooh, that was a good one to turn the page to. Hi. But yeah, this is just like a giant heavy book of literally like just pictures. Look how gorgeous these photos are. Like, can you even, 
No. It's just a ton of pictures of sharks. So if you come to my house, you'll see this baby on my coffee table and just take a little gander. It's a good time in here. Feast your eyes. Oh my gosh, I almost burned it on the candle. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, looky look. Just like a little, little sharky book here. Little fun facts. Like a little mini encyclopedia. You know what I mean? Oh, we got some more glasses. What was this for? Oh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl 3D. You know this is old. If you're seeing this, she's old. <laughs> Glasses have come off my head for this next one. This is something that I actually made in high school in my ceramics class, I think. I had to have been. I only took one ceramics class my whole life. But I think it's like a door, like hanger. You like put things in, whatever. This is her. We made. But look at the artistry, the shell detail, the sand, the stars. Oh, baby. Picasso would be proud. No, he wouldn't. Um, okay, yeah, and the sun broke a little bit. Like, it's been a couple years. It's been more than a, almost a decade, so it's no big deal. Candle is just breaking the surface, just for a little update update. Can't really see. Oh, this is a good one. I think my best friend got me this. Little San Diego, California little shark koozie and like mm -hmm, five o'clock somewhere here. I mean, not here, it's like 4.30 here, but we're almost there. Chess. What else do we have in this magnificent box? I mean, can we just talk about how obnoxious this is? And I know who got this for me. It was my brother, but hi. Hi. This guy does not have a name because he's too big to function and I have never like, found a spot to put him so he just like chills like in the closet so this is a little no name if you guys want to name him put it in the comments i mean i just have like a plethora of like stuffed animals like this guy i think dave won for me at like a fair back in his hometown this is actually like one of my favorite toys like growing up this was what i used it's like kind of gross, but I would go swimming with it. <laughs> like he'd go in the pool, he'd go in the bath when I was younger. So this is like a like a waterproof. I don't even know if he's waterproof, but there's a hole in it that acts like it. Uh, but be nice. He's old. He's discolored. He used to be gray and white, but he's got a little bit of yellow in him now. So you know, aging. His teeth have definitely seen better days. But again, this guy doesn't have a name. They're always just like, I'm always just like my Sharky. This is Mr. Sharky. Like Bruce is the only one who ever got a name. So 10 out of 10 recommend for your children if they want to go swimming with something. But also if they're terrified, just, just don't. Uh, some more little stuffed animals in this guy. <laughs> this is a fun one. This is a water gun. This one. I, uh, it's pretty explanatory. Just fill her up and shoot her. Love that. This is gonna be a toy set. So this guy is like a little scuba diver. This is, if it was a female, it would be me, but it's not, so it's a dude. And it comes with a little, like, Sharky, 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 who, you know, just with the cage. He's a little chomp chomp. And then I believe that this little tiger shark came along with it. And key fact, I know it's a tiger shark because of its stripes. And this has a great white. So that was a little toys that my dad got me. Just some cute things he would always throw into my Christmas presents, which I truly appreciate because, like, I'm a kid at heart. So we're going to keep getting toys forever. Here is another stuffed animal. I don't even actually remember getting this one, so I don't know who got me this. But whoever did, thank you very much. Me loves him. He's so cute. This I got when I was younger. A little piggy bank. This was to teach a child to save money but she didn't listen. Clearly. So, piggy bank, sharky shark. I think this was from like Target and I think my mommy got it for me. Thanks, ma. This is actually the most recent present I got and I love it so much. And honestly, this is something that people have been like tagging me in for years and like nobody's like bought it for me, but I also didn't buy it for myself, so whatever. But these, are shark wine glasses have you guys seen these ads like they just oh my god they're so cute i'm already drinking beer so i'm not moving to wine that's for like maybe later tomorrow but there's literally like little shark glass 
structures like inside the wine <laughs> like this is so cool my really good friends nicole and lauren got me these that would i love it it's so beautiful that was my most recent birthday present but i i've seen these for years literally years but my fbi agent on my phone probably just like connects my algorithm that way just to look at everything shark related so thanks Thanks for working hard. Don't work any overtime. Leave me alone. Thank you. This. I don't know where it came from. Oh, SeaWorld. I didn't go to SeaWorld. I think we got this on like a layover or something in like Florida. I don't even know. Did someone go to SeaWorld and get me this? There it is. Great white shark. Okay, this next thing is actually like one of my like second most prized possessions when it does come to anything shark related and i had been asking for this like nonchalantly like just giving my siblings an idea of what to get me and i believe that actually dave got me this which is so so thoughtful but this is something that is like certified and it's legit and i don't know where the card is it's probably buried somewhere but this right here is my very own megalodon tooth i like am a true believer that this is real i'm really hoping it's real because i tell everybody it is but look at this thing like i got pretty big hands and i'm just saying can you imagine here we go are you ready mind blowing can you imagine rows and rows and rows of teeth this size like hi if i can once we get one of those little teeth that's burned out we will compare the size so megalodon she's gonna get her own video one of these days but this is my favorite thing she sits on my desk while i work and it's just so cool <sighs> so beautiful hold this one very close to my heart here but yeah uh i got a lot of steps yeah so that's um that's a good start, I'd say, with everything that I have here. I think the one who has the most value and sentimental value is little Brucey right here. But yeah, he used to actually be like, when I would go away uh, to college, he would be my carry-on and I'd walk through the airplane aisles and people are like, this is like a grown woman with like a shark pillow pet. But Brucey, he's, uh, he gets it done. And pillow pets are actually great for airplanes. Like, they're amazing. Oh, I cannot forget about this one. So this was actually a present I got for Dave, but like, <clears throat> it was like kind of for me. So <laughs> one of those things, but uh, we were down on the strip and we were down by the high roller and there were those guys who do those like spray paintings that are like amazing and just so cool to watch. And Dave's birthday was coming up. So I was like, Dave will love that. Same, but okay. <laughs> this is like all spray paint and just like the detail at the bottom the dude literally put it together in like less than 10 minutes like he did it so fast it like doo -doo 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 -doo, like swipe 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 like da, 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 everything have you guys you know what i'm talking about like those spray paint people i think you know what i'm talking about but we hung it in our bedroom in college for a little bit but yeah like it was for dave but also for me <laughs> anybody else can you really huh he liked it though i think waiting for you to burn slowly let it burn let it burn kids don't play with fire don't do it or do it okay so i had to step away and let the candle burn just because she was taking her time but i think we are like safe to dig out these like four teeth i think i should i'm gonna blow it out <gasps> Make a little wishy wish here. I don't know if that's how it works, but <laughs> okay. So uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's dig them out. Um, hi, I'm gonna use scissors because um, there's no reason, but I'm just gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna take a guess that these are like a smaller shark, probably like a reef shark. Nothing huge that. Um, probably, you know, you could find these washed up along the beach, something like this, but these are way smaller than great white shark teeth, but this one is the most intact. So let's see if we can get that to focus. Yeah, this is so cute. <laughs> Just like, literally look at this, like, hi. Hi, 
and this could still be on a shark that's like five or six feet, you know, like imagine. You simply can't, you simply cannot. I love that candle, so fun, and it smells so good. So I totally do recommend, 10 out of 10, the wax is still moving around in here. Um, I'm not sponsored, but maybe one day. So that is gonna be part one of all of my shark stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I went through that like super fast, but I'm so paranoid that my videos have been like way too long. So gonna try to cut those down. We'll see. As always, I hope you guys head down to the bottom of the video and just give it a little like. Give me a comment, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. Hope you guys had a good time today. Be sure to also check out the conservation links down below. Maybe you can learn something else that you don't wanna wait for me to get to. Or you can donate to save some of the sharks and some other wildlife out there. Even if it's a dollar, just let me know, comment. I'll shout you out in the next video. So I'm excited for next video. Don't know what the shark's gonna be, but we are back at it with the drawing uh, once more for episode four. So thank you guys for watching. If you've made it this far, I don't even know how long the video is going to be, but thank you for watching. It was a fun one. It is a nice break to not get all scientific with you guys, but don't forget, we have old Reliable just sitting here feeling left out in this video since we didn't really crack her open. But next time, we will do that. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you soon.